Chiefs. First Mason was terrific. Let's, let's be real. Uh, defensively, they were great. They're on a string with each other. Wouldn't let us get in the paint. Um, couldn't get in the paint. We averaged about 40 paint touches. We had 12 at halftime. I'm not sure what we ended up with for the game. Um, the game plan on the was good. And, didn't handle it right. Uh, and then they made, they made big time shots. Sometimes it's just not your your night. You feel like the ball just kind of bounced their way. You create that sometimes. The sports was terrific. You get six of them and um, they're good. You know, I try to explain that uh, to people that we're playing a really good team. We're nowhere near where we're going to be um, until we learn how to share the ball a little bit better, pass it better, and make better decisions. Our defense better be outstanding, and it wasn't outstanding tonight, and that's why we ended up losing. A lot of it was because of them. They were terrific. Question? Yeah, Coach, you how much of their, their three-point shooting do you attribute to your defense versus them making tough shots, and what would you have liked to see better defense? Well, the two of the sports made in the second half were in transition. One cue ended up on them, you know, off the film. And sometimes you make mistakes and they miss them. Sometimes you make mistakes and they make them. So, um, and then the other one was in front of their bench, put them up eight again. Um, but I thought the biggest one was we went to our zone. And, um, of course, I can't see. I'm terrible with names. Number three is the big one in the corner. And he's made a lot. He's shooting close to 50% this year from three, but I, you know he's not known as a great shooter. And uh, 24 hit a big one in the corner too. You know, so two guys stepped up and hit him. So those were big. Uh, we can never get over the hump. Uh, and then I just felt like, golly, fast was boxing the guy out. You know, we're down three or one, and goes to them. And it's a loose ball on the sideline, shot clocks to three, and it's a foul on Ian. You know, just things like that happened. And um, and you know, things happen a little bit differently some nights. Sometimes they don't, but. I think it was a combination of two. They were really good, and our defense wasn't. We made a lot of mistakes defensively, and I won't get into what they were, but yeah. Mark, you kind of touched on it, but um, Wahab, you know, it seemed like they were just kind of collapsing on him, doubling him early, but he still kind of managed to get a couple of buckets there. Um, was it just kind of the way they were collapsing? He only played 16 minutes. Just wondering kind of what you saw. There. Yeah, I mean, he just, it's a combination of great double teams. The game is moving really fast. A lot of fast guys on the court. Um, our guys not getting to the right spots to help him. Him dribbling when the double team's coming. So game moved quick for him. And um, if he's not close enough far deep, it was hard for him to do other things for us. I love him, great player. We're gonna get better with it. He's gonna get better. We're already better against the double team than we were four days ago, and hopefully we'll get better uh, as the season goes on. But um, yeah, and, and it was more about defense too down there um, with him. And Juju just really played well, so he kind of stuck with him. Juju was, was, was playing well uh, for us, but um, you know, when they make shots, they got to spread a little bit. We let them get to the lane a little bit too much. But uh, now we'll keep we'll keep grinding, keep getting better for Q, and, and uh, see what you know, see what, how we can help them a little bit more. Ian Martinez was on the court a lot tonight. What'd you see in his game that you liked, and uh, where is his opportunity to grow? Well, I thought he really tried hard defensively with him and Fats out there and X. We could really get after him a little bit. We're down ten. It was like we got to we got to do something to, to, to slow them down and, and put some pressure on. We had so many near steals out there. It was, it was amazing. And uh, so, and then he made a couple plays, made a couple shots, and he was just he was good. He fouled a little bit too much. Had a couple of silly fouls. Got beat off the dribble when it was a three-point game, went all the way in, Cooper went all the way in, and he fouled him right around the basket. So, um, but yeah, I mean, we're trying to figure it out. We, we know we're near figuring this thing out yet. Um, we're trying to, a lot of games, not a lot of practice right now, um, but he's he's an important piece. I think he felt more comfortable. We, we felt more comfortable with him tonight, so we'll keep grinding with it. 
you know, the past few games, it's felt like it's kind of been like, you know, that one big score who's, you know, had a really big first half, and that previous game kind of been able to shut them down. Do you feel like anything was different this time around? Yeah, I, I, you know, I told the team at halftime, I said, they're up one and they've made some really tough shots. I said, it's just like Vermont. I said, I think we can lock in and guard them. Uh, but we gave them too many easy ones, um, whether it was transition or layups. Um, you can't do that. And we made we made a lot of mistakes in a stretch where we were supposed to be doing something defensively and none of the guys were doing it. And it's, you know, it's just locking in and doing what you're supposed to do to be a good team. So. That was frustrating um, part, but um, they, they're they playing with incredible confidence right now. We're not, you know, we, we think we're supposed to beat everybody. It's not that way. It's too hard. We we didn't vote ourselves 20th, okay? And so you take everybody's best shot and we don't know how to handle it yet. As soon as, as, soon as we figure out how to handle it, um, you know, we're gonna be a better, better team. But they really spread you, they got good players. You know, people was able to get downhill because we were worried about sports. And then, how about Oduro over the right shoulder? It's one point game. I mean, are you kidding me? That was an incredible play. That was high, high level play, you know, in a big time situation. You know, he misses out. We might win the game, but he made it. It was, okay, got to shake your hand a little bit and say, great, great win, guys. Think a loss like this, this early in the season, has the potential to do for your team in terms of bouncing back quickly from the first stage? Well, we didn't approach things right yesterday. So hopefully that'll teach us, right? I mean, I'm a positive guy, and I had to get on them this day in practice quite a bit. I had to say some language I don't like really saying. I don't usually use that much because we just we took the day off, and then look what happened. So. Hopefully they learn from that. They just can't show up and um, and play. And it's not all the guys. It's just a few of the guys and uh, guys that are real important to us. And so they got to approach it differently. And they got to respond to my voice in practice. <coughs> Coach wants to practice hard. We're going to practice hard. Coach wants to go no tape and just walk through things. We'll go no tape. But I think that that'll help the process a lot. Um, so we will learn from that. You know, he's got to play a lot harder, we got to play a lot smarter. Thanks, sir.